what's up guys this is freddy again in the next video to show you step by step how to build your blog site from scratch and how to make money online with it all right so this is the next video where i'm going to show you the necessary things you need to get done to get started with your wordpress blog all right so uh, once you have uh you know installed the wordpress platform and like I showed you in the in the previous videos, uh, I bought a domain name right from GoDaddy.com from scratch. I showed you exactly the process of buying the domain name, and then the process of connecting that domain name to your HostGator account, and then how to use your HostGator account to install WordPress. And now that you have uh, installed WordPress, uh, there are a couple of things that I need to show you that you need to get done before I teach you how to install the theme how to install plugins and things like that so um, here is the site that I bought previously in the video uh, it's uh, as, you, as you remember is uh, freedom training that info uh, freedom training that info and then the description is here you can see that's the site I bought and it's brand new is there's nothing in it so let's log into the back office all right let's, let's log into the back office of your WordPress site and like I told you earlier you know it's very important for you to save the links bookmark them or something so it, you will have easy access to them and you know you can do everything faster so save your login link All right I already have done that you know this link right here uh, that's the link the URL uh, I need to save right to log into my back office of my brand new site so as you can see I already have this saved all of the information and you can see that is uh, this is the brand new WordPress site there's nothing in it no content nothing so the first thing that you want to do is delete all of the sample pages uh, there's a sample post there's a sample page and delete those because you know you want your site to be completely empty for you to start creating stuff in it right so go to your post click on post and you know I already deleted it so uh, delete the sample post go to pages and delete the sample page and one thing that I want to tell you right now is you know if you are brand new to this and you don't know anything about WordPress you never even heard of it uh, you know get familiar with it you know the best way to get familiar and to learn how to use something is to just snoop around you know be like a kid you know and, and just click on everything try to try everything you know if you mess something up it's okay you know you learn from their mistakes and if you don't make mistakes then you are not going to learn so feel free to just click around you know get familiar with it uh find the information that you need online because i'm sh i'm sure there is so much information i mean i know there is so much information out there that you can use to get more familiar with your wordpress you know i'm only going to show you quick things you know i don't want to make quick uh fat um long videos you know that i really don't want to make long videos and this is why i have I uh, broke everything down in different sections and different videos that you can watch uh, instead of making one very long video I'm going to be making short videos so anyways once you are here and you have uh, deleted everything that is in there you know as a sample um, what you want to do the next thing to do is to go to settings alright so click on settings and it's going to take you to the very first option here which is general and here you can change the site uh, your website's title you can change the description you can also do that through appearance and customize all right you can also do that through here but you can also do it through here um, so this is one thing that you can change here under general you know there's not so much you can change on this section um, if you ever decide to let people register to your site you know you can uh, make that option available here and pretty much that's it you know there's not much we can change in here except uh, maybe you're living somewhere with a different time zone or something uh, but anyways all right so the next thing we want to do is go to writings writing and here here is where you are going to scroll down scroll down and come to the section Called update services and here is where you are going to download the list that I have for you below this video there, there should be a link 
and you should be able to download a text file where I have a list of all of the pinging sites that you want to put in here uh, this is basically um, the pinging sites that WordPress is going to notify every time you publish a new blog post all right so every time you have new content on your site you know WordPress is going to use the services to let the search engines know that you have new content so make sure you get this part done all right make sure you have you are doing exactly what i'm doing here so uh download the, the list that i have for you i already have, i'm sharing my list with you so download it and then open it and then what you want to do is you want to press on Control a if you are using a um, microsoft computer uh, press Control a and then you want to uh, right click copy or control C and then come back here delete that uh, that that um, URL right there and then paste the new list right paste what I uh, what you have here and then save and you should be done with this part right here right so that's all we need to get done here so you're ready to go now the next thing um, maybe reading this is where you can change how many blog posts you want to show on your home page and how many blog posts you want to show on your RSS feeds right uh, you can leave this as it is you don't you you don't you don't really have to touch anything here until you have a lot of content so let's move on into the next one um, one quick thing that I want to tell you is you know like I told you click on everything and make sure that you read everything that you get familiar with everything so you can learn how to use everything right so here is where you control uh, how people comment on your blog right so feel free to just snoop around you know to look around and read everything and get familiar with everything and and learn how to use all of this the things that you know you have in here because you have a lot of control in here so the next thing we want to do a very important thing that you want to do is change your permalinks all right and the permalinks is how you are going how is your URL going to be showing here right the way I have mine my permanent permalinks it's like this um, I have my domain name dot com slash my blog post name or my page name and that's it I don't have anything else you know in some other blogs you are going to see a more uh, a longer you know uh, URL like you see right here you can uh, pick one that you want and you can see you you could have your you know your URLs to look like this your domain name slash 2013 you know the date of the blog post and then the name of the blog post uh, or you could have you know archives you know or or you can just choose to have a the do the post name right after the domain name like I have and I recommend you to do that because you know it looks better it's easier for the search engines to read um, and I mean it looks better right if you have it, right the link looks better the URL looks better so make sure you do that and you 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 uh, choose the post name uh, option here right make sure you have that and that's the one you are using for your permalinks and then click save and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much it when it comes to setting up your WordPress your brand new WordPress uh, site this is all you need to do before you you know come here and change the theme install the plugins and things like that you know I'm going to be talking about this in more details in the next video so make sure you watch the video make sure you're following this site and you are doing everything that I'm teaching you here so uh, I just wanted to make this a quick video to show you exactly what you need to get done on your on your brand new blog site so I'll talk to you on the next video on how to set everything up like how to build your theme how to install the plugins and stuff like that is going to be in the next videos alright so I'll talk to you later